Well, it's Tuesday, mm-hmm. and we're we're doing attic-y stuff again. Right. These last few weeks, we've been doing uh, 120.3 scale rolling stock for our garden railroad. Right. We've done some locomotives and whatnot in the past, but we've been kind of focusing on rolling stock. And the stuff we've been looking at is this AMS, the plastic uh, version of AccuCraft. AccuCraft mm. does the really great brass. But years and years ago, they decided to augment their line with some plastic freight cars, which would be much more affordable. Right. In the $150 range, $100 range. Mm -hmm. It just sort of depends which one you're looking at. Right. Or more for like a big passenger car or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this week, uh, we're going to be opening and unboxing a high side gondola. But we've already pre-peeled it. Because these things are so hard to get out of the box, especially getting them out of the box without breaking them. Um, Yeah, always pre-peel your gondola. Always pre-peel your gondola. And (laughs) so uh, that's exactly what we have here is a pre-peeled gondola. Um, As you can see, we've already got it out of the cardboard box, but it's still packed up in the styrofoam. Let's see if we can get it out. Well, that was relatively simple. That's so much simpler. Wow. Now, you know, and we've, because we've been having a lot of trouble. Peeled and shelled. Wow. We've been having a lot of trouble unboxing these things. I swear they swell in their package. Well, they, they want them to fit tight. Of course. Because they don't want them to get broken in shipment. Mm-hmm. And uh, the downside of that is how do you get them out of the box without destroying them? You must them. put them through a shrinker. I swear it's actually box. easier to some extent to destroy the box and mm-hmm. take them out that way. There's some some screws on the loose. I guess it comes with some <laughs> spares. The screws are loose. Um, oh, my hell. Here we go. We thought we had it peeled. We don't. I'm trying to get the styrofoam. That makes some good Foley sound. Yeah. I, yeah. Could, I could see putting that back in there for your coal load or your gravel load or your ore load. Right, or, and it would not have to be so full. Because if you want it empty, but you could use that that styrofoam insert. The, uh, the high side gondolas, one of the things they've got going for them that's sort of interesting are these, these little um, Braces mm-hmm. on the inside. I've tripped over many of those because we've ridden yes. extensively in one of these. <laughs> Me and the four of it almost met up because they took the slack out they of the took train the slack and, out uh, hard and, and, and the slack went out of my knees. And I'll and tell you what, it was it was, it was almost a lunar landing. It was spectacular. And but these these little guys here are sticking right out where your feet can uh, yeah. can catch them. And uh, anyway, and down you go. And down you go. But what a beautiful car. This is the 1733. These came in, in two different heights, a high side and a low side. They're basically the same car, just mm-hmm. how many boards they stacked up, uh, depending on how they wanted to do it. There was also on the Rio Grande, toward the end of the Rio Grande, uh, the last uh, respite for that was um, uh, when they discovered oil out there on the Rio Grande narrow gauge territory mm. and they needed to get all the oil well pipe ah. out to the oil wells and they were going to load them into these. These are 30 feet long, the pipes are 40 feet long. So how did they fix that? Well, we took a whole bunch of these cars and they just knocked the ends out. And uh, the pipes might have been 50 feet, come to think of it. But they just, so there's a lot of these rolling around that are called pipe gons where they did nothing more than just knock the end of uh, off the car and then move the brake wheel down. And, uh, and then they'd put a flat car in between the gons because the pipes had hang clear out to here. Hmm. And then you have flat car gone, flat car gone, flat car gone. And that's a fun thing to model. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to break this thing up. No, you're it. not. No, you're not. <laughs> I, did, I did do that. You though, can fake it. I did, <laughs> I, I did that with some Bachman cars. And yeah. It was really fun. I did some pipe guns, and I, I think I got rid of them all. Anyway, uh, the as always, the undercarriage detail it's is perfect. just perfect. Right. Just really, really nice wheel trucks, and just so much about these cars that's just really, 
really nice. Mm, I want to go on a train ride again. This is yeah, like making I me want to climb in this thing. That was a lot of fun that day. For the for the ones they're using on the passenger trains, they've carved a hole out of the end here, um, so that you've got a little walkway over to the mm -hmm. caboose or whatever, and you can right. walk out into here, a passenger oh, car, or whatever. That was a lot of fun. Just use it as an open air car. I mean, oh. Some of them even have benches. The most relaxing day of my life. Oh, that was, that was so fun. That was so fun riding. The... <sighs> Cumbers and Toltec. Yes. You know, Clear you know, over. I say gondola, just like this one. Yep. Anyway, that's a, a great addition to the railroad, mm -hmm. or will be once we have the railroad. <laughs> it's coming, we promise. It's coming. <laughs> uh, Bachman, of course, uh, Bachman Spectrum, the, the two really nice lines of cars are this and Bachman Spectrum in the exact same scale, mm -hmm. and they make the same car. And uh, Boy, uh, if I had to pick one or the other in terms of quality, the Bachman does have uh, uh, wheel journals that open, like you want to, you know, if you feel the need it's to do that. It's fun to flip them open. Flip the little thing Pretend and you have you're to hear oil in, there. in your head because yes. it doesn't actually do that. But um, no, the, the detail on both companies, a spectacular price is very similar, scale is very mm -hmm. similar, and they, they play very well together. As always with these guys, the, the couplers uh, release with the, the actual uh, coupler release handle. There it goes. That's just fun. And, uh, wow. So when you're doing your switching, you can set it up so your switch stands actually work, which is what we're doing. You grab the switch stand, you do it. To uncouple a car, you just grab the handle and pull, and it uncouples the car. It's as close to real as you can get without risking life and limb switching the yeah, actual narrow gauge. Keeping your thumb out of the way. Keeping your thumb and other finger because you will mm. lose them. Oh, yeah. Indeed. <laughs> well, there it is. I'm really <laughs> impressed with all of these cars, and it's fun to finally get them out of the boxes after all of these years. And I would imagine. They're, they're moving straight from here over to the switching yard, yes. which is o under construction over there as we speak. It is. Which is one of the reasons we're unboxing all this mm -hmm. stuff is it's not going back in the boxes. No. It's going on the track. Yes, it is. And so that's going to be pretty It's dark. about time. It's about time, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Satisfying. Satisfying. Yes. Well, anyway. <laughs> If you haven't been over the channel, pop on over the channel. If you're not a subscriber, or if you haven't binge watched lately, the blue button will take you over there for subscription or blue button. And of course you want to click your uh, notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload something. Yes. Anyway, here it comes. You ready? <laughs> yes, blue button. Zoom. <laughs> right there, the blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you on Sunday with the drive around and screw around show. We'll see you then. That's <laughs> that too. We'll see you bye. then and bye bye. <laughs>